I'm Kevin Haycock for iMagazine, and this is the iMagazine podcast. Today we'll be looking at the new wireless Mighty Mouse. Now this here is my old wireless mouse, and this here is the new wireless Mighty Mouse. As you can see, they're about the same size. Uh, the new wireless Mighty Mouse may be slightly thicker near the back, and on the bottom there are some noticeable differences. As you can see the old wireless mouse had a red glow to the laser. The new wireless Mighty Mouse just has a green dot at the top that shows you it's on. It's an invisible laser and you can turn it on and off in the same fashion with the switch at the bottom. So let's see what the new wireless Mighty Mouse can do for us. You can set up the new wireless Mighty Mouse like you would any mouse in the new in the system preferences in the keyboard and mouse pane. Now these are the um, these are the default settings and it's default set for just a single click button but you can change that right click to secondary button and there's also a middle button on top of the scroll ball that can also be changed uh, in this setting here and I actually, it's currently set for dashboard, I'd like to actually set it to the application switcher. And once you do that, you can actually see all the applications you're in, and you can scroll through them with the scroll ball. The side buttons um, are currently set for expose. Um, I'd actually like to set this for dashboard. So now it's set for dashboard. The scrolling options here are currently set for vertical and horizontal, but since it's a scroll ball, I'd actually like to set it for 360 degrees. And the tracking, scrolling, and double click options are self-explanatory. This option down here is kind of interesting. What it allows you to do is as you hold down the control key, you can zoom in using the scroll ball, and there are different options here. that allow you to change how the mouse moves with the uh, with the scroll or with the zoom. So now that we have our mouse set, we can open up an application such as Safari and see how the different options work. So we can use the scroll ball to scroll through and we can use now a right click to see uh, what we would normally see with a control click. And as I said, the side buttons are for dash. I set the side buttons for dashboard, but I currently don't have any dashboard widgets uh, selected. The side buttons are a little tough to get used to. You have to squeeze kind of hard, um, but I think we'll get used to it. To show off the function of the scroll ball, we can make the window smaller and actually scroll in a diagonal fashion um, as I have it set for 360 degrees scrolling. So that shows off the new wireless Mighty Mouse. I hope uh, you enjoyed seeing how it works and maybe you'll go out and get one. They're $70 at uh, any Apple store and free shipping if you order it online. We got ours within two days of ordering it, so there are plenty of them out there. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at imagazine at mac.com or leave a comment on the webpage at www.imagazine.com backslash podcast backslash podcast dot html. For iMagazine, I'm Kevin Haycock. Get the Apple Mac news you want at imagazine.com.